With PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds hitting early access, therefore attracting a lot of interested players even more than it did in closed beta, it is slowly but surely shaping up to be one of the most popular competitive shooter games ever made. Not only because it's nice and shiny, though it is a long way from becoming a complete game which everyone wants to own, it already has a somewhat established player base. Not to get confused, over a million copies of the game were sold already in only 16 days, and the numbers still keep rising, which, if the developers continue polishing the game at the pace they are doing right now, the already solid foundation this game has will be set in stone. Patches are released on time with the promises of the developers kept, so we can expect a game that is yet to shine very bright in the eyes of every shooter game enthusiast. With that said, and as everyday stats are showing, the influx of players will continue to rise, making them curious about each and every aspect of this game. Therefore, hello and welcome to my Assault Rifles Guide for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Assault rifles are the preferred choice for a wide variety of players, especially in games which allow you to modify your gun, making it even more deadly, less noisy, or just badass looking. The current number of assault rifles in Battlegrounds is 4, and they are the AKM, SCAR L, M16A4, and M416. To start off on a good note, meet the AKM. As popular and widespread as it can be, the Selective Fire Assault Rifle is chambered in 762 by 39 mm making it the heaviest hitting one among the four with a damage output of 42. Pretty logical given the fact that it shoots a heavier round, and contrary to that, it has the lowest rate of fire, rated with a stat of 61. A single body shot with the AKM to an opponent with no armor deals 42 damage, 38.5 for level 1 vest, 35.5 for level 2 and 31.5 for level 3. So on paper, you need 3 body shots to eliminate an opponent with no armor, same for ones wearing level 1 and level 2, and you need 4 shots for opponent wearing level 3 military vests. Considering that most of the time those shots are not carefully planned and executed, you will either miss or hit the head, but try to keep count on your body shots as 4 is the sweet spot. As far as the headshots go, one will eliminate someone with no head protection, two shots for level 1 and level 2 helmets, and three shots to break the level 3 helmet, which also has protection on the sides. It has three attachment points, meaning that you can modify the AKM's muzzle, magazine, or slap on a scope so you don't have to look down those nasty rail iron sights. Although it has a front notch, it's still not very practical. Let's start with the muzzle attachments. The Assault Rifle Compensator reduces both horizontal and vertical recoil, adding a bit more stability to your shots, so it's a very good choice for the AKM when you're going full Rambo and are not worried about being spotted. It will help you a bit when firing longer bursts or just full auto spraying in CQB. You cannot choose what attachments you're gonna modify your AKM with, but even so, in some rounds you will have an overflow of attachments, so you know what to do. The second option is a flash hider. While it does not reduce the noise of your shots, it eliminates the muzzle flash, making it much harder for your opponents to spot you, giving you the extra edge in some situations while also reducing horizontal and vertical recoil slightly. The third and final attachment for the AKM is the suppressor, the ideal muzzle attachment for lots of players and for a good reason. It almost completely eliminates the sound of your shots, so if you're more than 25 meters away from your opponent, they will have a hard time pinpointing the shots. Whether by a mistake or not, the suppressors in Battlegrounds also have a subsonic effect for some reason, hence you cannot even hear the crack of the bullets hitting close to you when being engaged by someone who has a suppressor on their gun. This should not be the case, as there is no subsonic ammunition, there is only one type of ammunition for every gun, though adding more ammunition types to the game would be super cool. How silent your weapon is depends on the combination of the suppressor and the ammunition used, and since the subsonic rounds are not in-game, the suppressors feel like a complete overkill. Maybe something to look forward to in the future. As for the magazine, there is the extended magazine which holds 10 more bullets, quick draw magazine which greatly reduces your reload time, and the extended quick draw mag, the ideal combination of the two which has the benefits of both holding more rounds and taking less time while reloading your gun. The third attachment point for the AKM of course is the optics rail. Red dot sight or a 4 times scope are my favorite, but again, taking in consideration the fact just how scarce your looting runs can sometimes be, you will be forced to use it with just anything you find. But if not the 4 times scope, you should at least be able to find a red dot sight which, in my opinion, offers more than the holographic sight, giving you more vision of your surroundings and having a smaller aiming pointer. 
The 8x scope offers better spotting capabilities and more precise shots for opponents that are more than 150 meters away, but be careful when running into some close combat situations with the scope attached. If you are completely confident, then go for it. Suppressed ACAM with an extended quick draw magazine and a 4x scope is my favorite, but I am going all out when saying this because I either don't find the stuff in a single round or I just end up getting killed. More on how not to be a noob later. The stability stat of the AKM is rated with 34, surprisingly making it the most stable out of the four assault rifles. This stat is going to change for some rifles as they have an option to be modified with angle or vertical foregrips, as well as stocks which additionally increase stability, both in CQB and mid-range combat. But when stripped of all attachments, the AKM is your go-to gun for some old-fashioned spray and pray. With the ballistics being a thing that many enjoy in battlegrounds, it is good to know that when taking shots past 100 or 150 meters with the AKM, you will have to aim slightly above your target or adjust your zeroing correctly. There are no rangefinders in the game yet, but as for now, compensating for the bullet drop is not a very hard thing to do. Overall, the AKM's versatility surely makes it a reliable assault rifle, and for some reason much more common than some other assault rifles, even though this should maybe not be the case, being that it's chambered in 7.62. Very good and close to mid-range, and if not already, you're going to love the AKM. Originally the M16A2, the M16 in Battlegrounds is misnamed as the A4 version, and probably not by a mistake, with the main difference between the two being that the A4 version has the full auto fire mode, M5 rail adapter system handguard, and the full quad Picatinny rail for mounting optics, as well as side attachments. Not to be too strict and guided by complete realism, I just thought this would be useful to know. This assault rifle also has three attachment points and the same ones as the AKM. The muzzle, optics and magazine. The M16A4 in my experience is the most common assault rifle in battlegrounds, so you should have no trouble finding nor adjusting to one. It is a selective fire assault rifle, allowing you to switch between the single or burst fire mode. If you're looking to take some precise shots, you of course need to set it to single shot, although there are many players who fire 3 round bursts even when their opponents are 50 to 100 meters away. Skeptical at first, but I quickly found out just how useful the burst fire is even at longer ranges. In CQB, at least two of those shots are guaranteed hits, not to mention if somebody is standing still in front of you. You can unleash a volley of fire in a split second before they even know what's going on. So let's see the damage. Just so it is easier for you guys to remember, all three of the 556 assault rifles have the same damage with some stats changing upon equipping certain mods. So three body shots to take out opponents who either don't or have level 1 armor, and four body shots to take those who are wearing level 2 and 3. Headshot damage is displayed on the screen where the red marks one hit kill, yellow for two, and green for three or more shots to kill. As far as the accuracy of the M16A4 goes, you will see that it can be trusted when taking some longer range shots and thus this rifle has the range stat of 62. Both recoil and kickback get pretty bad when firing constantly, so if you decide to use the burst fire at mid-range, take some time between your burst if not directly near your opponent. It is a fun weapon to use, especially if you have a suppressor attached to it, making it completely viable for later stages of the game. Again, the red dot or the 4x scope are preferred if you are in a situation to choose at all, though the 8x scope also works, as the M16A4 has the highest range stat of the four assault rifles. I prefer not to use the hollow sight due to the recoil which occurs when shooting 3 round bursts, but instead I try going for the red dot or the 2x scope. This weapon is both very common and likable by many, as it is not very hard to get used to. Moving on to the, again in my experience, the rarest assault rifle, maybe just because it has the preference of spawning more often in somewhat militarized areas, I will have to look deeper into this, but the Gamepedia Battlegrounds wiki states that the M416 can be found all over the map, but is easier to find in Georgia Poles, Slavka Military Base, Primorsk, Milta Power, Yasnaya Poliana, Razhok and Novo... Razhok and Novo... This is because these places have a higher value when it comes to military loot, thereby increasing the chances of finding the M416. Even though we said that the M16A4, SCAR L and the M416 are using the same ammunition, 5.56x45, the M416 is currently the only assault rifle that has 5 attachment points. All three that were mentioned before, so the muzzle, optics rail, magazine, plus you can add grips and stocks. 
You can choose between the angle foregrip, which reduces both vertical and horizontal recoil, as well as allowing you to aim down sights a bit faster. Good for anyone who likes ADSing while engaging the enemy. It is also better to have an angle foregrip attached when engaging your opponent's mid-range and when you want to take some precise shots. The vertical foregrip is a better way to go for everyone who likes shooting from third person, both holding down your mouse for a little more precision, as well as strafing around while hip firing. It increases the overall stability of your gun and makes the weapon drift less so you are able to control it even better. The M416 is a very good assault rifle, although I am still trying to find the best way to use it as I sometimes, or better yet most of the times, lose a 1v1 duel. It has the second highest rate of fire right after the M16A4 with a total of 77 with no attachments equipped. The stability of this assault rifle is 32 with no attachments so my guess is you need to modify it heavily to be able to gain the full control of this gun or just stop being bad with it. Most rounds I play I end up with either M16A4 or an AKM or a combination of the two. But the M416 is a really nice assault rifle to play with especially when decked out with all modifications. So while it may be a bit harder to come across it is totally worth it, as usually there is no problem with finding at least one of each attachments that this assault rifle can carry. Last of the attachment points is the stock, commonly found in civilian loot. It increases accuracy even more. And the final assault rifle from the current Battlegrounds arsenal is the SCAR-L. Though it would be super cool to have the SCAR H in the game as well, which would probably mean that battle rifles would enter the world of battlegrounds, so maybe adding a SCAR H as well as the FN FAL and making them spotting in the care packages only, given the fact that they're both chambered in 762 by 51 but I am gonna leave this daydreaming for another video. Right now we have to go with what's currently given to us, so let's see how this rifle performs in action and what attachments it supports. With a total of 4 attachment points being the muzzle, optics rail, magazine and the foregrips, the SCAR-L is my personal favorite. It does not take much time to find all the necessary attachments, there's plenty of 5.56 ammunition to go around, and although a lot of players cannot stand the usage of this gun's iron sights, I do not have a problem with that as this is one of my favorite and most used weapons in Armor 3 Battle Royale. Using the SCAR-L with an angled foregrip and a 4 times scope, or just a red dot and a vertical foregrip is my way to go, while having an extended quick draw magazine of course. The stability stat is rated with 31, giving the assault rifle 3rd place on the charts. The rate of fire is 71, again 3rd place. But taken in consideration that it spawns almost everywhere and is very easy to acquire, you will have no trouble finding your unique attachment combination and preferred way to use the SCAR. The range stat is 51, lowest of the four. As the M416 and the AKM, the SCAR also has the option of switching between the single or full automatic fire modes. The 4x scope allows you to take out running targets, but usually not as effective as I would want, as the recoil of the SCAR can be a huge pain in the ass. So make sure to get a grip! Overall, and I probably think this is only because I love using this weapon in some other games, the SCAR-L is currently my favorite assault rifle in Battlegrounds. I am in no way saying that it's the best assault rifle, because it obviously is not, I still like using it very much. If you're lucky and can get your hands on a suppressor, this is a big plus because we all know how important they can be in some situations. This is all for my Assault Rifles guide for PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, so stay tuned for more weapon and survival guides, tips and tricks, and of course feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing for even more content, and as always, see you in game.